Day number 20, five days left until this box is done. <laughs> Welcome back friends, day number 20 of the Aldi Beer Advent Calendar. So far this box has been a state of brewing box. They're out of Wanakee, Wisconsin. If we didn't get a state of brewing, I'd be super surprised. So let's just go ahead and crack this one open. As you can see right here, number 20 is the red door with some trees on the bottom. We don't have to be too gentle, but why not? Never, it never hurts to be gentle. What do we have in the box? Whoa, look at this. First one of these, a German style Pilsner. I think this is the first Pilsner in general. This is four and a half percent, has the German flag, colors of the German flag on the front there. As I mentioned, this is a state of brewing beer, which if it wasn't, I would be super, I don't know, surprised, I guess, out of Wanakee, Wisconsin. They also are known as Octopi Brewing. They do uh, untitled art beer as well. This is the best by date of August 1st, 2023. This is the, the flag motif that I've talked about. I think I said before there are four, four different label types. There are actually five because there's that fruit type that we saw again a couple days ago. Let's go ahead and crack this, put a nose on it. Pilsners are known for being a little bit of a, a little bit of a sweeter kind of aroma and, and flavor. They have more of like a corn kind of flavor. That's Budweiser's a Pilsner. If you've had Budweiser, you've probably had something very similar to this. Putting a nose on it, it has a little bit of a fuller body than what you would expect from a macro style lager or a Pilsner, like I said, Budweiser. Let's go ahead and pour this. Coming out really clear out of the can, just barely has a yellow tint to it. Collecting in the glass here, we're gonna see a little bit more of that yellow, that golden yellow like you would expect to see out of a Pilsner shine through. Uh, I'm looking at about two fingers ahead here, really bright white head. This is like the stereotypical beer. Like when you think of beer, this is what you would probably think of most times, nine times out of 10. Let's hold this up to the light. There's a few bubbles hanging on here. That's probably more of my glass cleaning skill than the beer itself, but there's a steady stream of carbonation coming through. This isn't super clear. And I actually kind of appreciate that it has a bit of that particulate floating in it. You can't really see that too well in that shot, but to me, I can see it quite a bit. And like I said, it's golden in color. The head is still hanging on, but it's gotten a little porous since the pour. Yeah, getting that sweet corn aroma, you're getting a little bit of a bittering aroma as well. Let's go ahead and it, it smells a little bit bitter. <laughs> bittering you usually think of as a taste, but you can smell bitter too, right? So let's go ahead and try this one out. Cheers. As you would expect from a Pilsner, this is very crisp. We talk about the mouthfeel first all the time on this channel. Very crisp mouthfeel, very light, very refreshing. On the finish, it does start to dry out, but let's talk about the flavor here. Really a lot more full flavored than you would expect if you were someone that was only drinking macro style lagers, macro style Pilsners. Those are a little bit more watered down, a little bit thinner. This has like that corny kind of sweetness, but it also has um, this on the back end has this really strong biting bitter character to it, which is accompanied perfectly by that dryness. So what it does is you get that bitter, you get that dryness, and that makes you feel like like your your tongue feels like it's dry, which means time for another drink. This is a 4.5% Pilsner. That's kind of what you should expect from most Pilsners, unless it's like an Imperial Pils or maybe some kind of hopped Pilsner. There, well, even that wouldn't really have much of an of a, of a impact on it, but a, an Imperial Pilsner is going to be a little bit higher ABV, but Pilsners in general are low ABV. Uh, they can be lower in calorie, too, if that's something that you're, that you're worried about, but they're generally a little bit lighter than you would expect from like an IPA or a Stout or something like that. Most beer drinkers or craft beer drinkers at this point pretty much gravitate towards those two. So this is actually a really good example of the German style Pilsner. I'm somewhat well versed in German Pilsners, but not enough to really give you a, a full history of it and break down how they differ because the last two advent calendars that I've done were the Kalia beer boxes. Those were entirely lagers. A whole ton of German Pilsner were in that box. But this is a pretty good example of a German Pilsner. Like I said, and I've said it many times, this beer box is a really great introduction to craft beer. If you know somebody that wants to get into craft beer, has tried a few beers here and there and says, I'd like to try more of that. This is a really good box for that. This is a really good example of a German Pilsner. This is a really good example of a German flag motif here on this can. 
And this is my state of brewing, like I said before. So this has been the German Style Pilsner. We're going to be back for day number 21. It's all the home stretch from here. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. These guys are state of brewing out of Wanakee, Wisconsin, if you can see that. Hopefully that comes in clear. If I hold it next to my face, it's super clear. Until next time, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. We'll see you tomorrow for day number 21, nearing the end. Cheers. <laughs>